People peer into the endless depths of space, wondering how many mind-blowing things are going on there that are still unknown. Here are 9 space facts that will help lift the space mystery shroud. Mercury has a tail. Many people know comets have tails. But have you heard about a planet that has one? Mercury has comet-like a long flowing tail trailing away from the sun, much like a comet. Scientists first predicted Mercury had a tail in the 1980s, then discovered it in 2001. Why does Mercury have a tail? The answer lies in part in sodium atoms. These atoms are freed from Mercury's surface by the push of sunlight and micrometeorite impacts. The sodium atoms from the surface are blasted into Mercury's atmosphere and into space, where they form the planet's tail. Messenger discovered that sunlight scatters off the sodium atoms, giving them a yellow or orange glow. The sun isn't just selectively blowing sodium off the surface of Mercury, though. Mercury's tail is made up of many elements, but sodium gets the top billing because it does such a good job of scattering yellow light. This allows the tail to appear on long exposure photographs. Time is also essential, the tail is brightest within 16 days of the planet's perihelion. There is a man buried on the moon. Eugene Shoemaker, a co-discoverer of the famous Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet, was the founder of astrogeology and was said to be the first geologist to walk on the moon. Unfortunately, health issues prevented him from flying to the moon during his lifetime. Instead, he trained Neil Armstrong and other astronauts for the Apollo missions. In 1997, searching for undiscovered impact craters, he went to Australia, where he died in a car accident. In honor of his contributions to planetary science, his ashes were carried to the moon aboard NASA's Lunar Prospector Orbiter. For now, he remains the only human buried on the moon. And Eugene Shoemaker might not be all alone on the moon for very much longer. Celestis is planning to send a portion of the remains of 50 people, including those of Meretta West, the NASA lunar geologist who helped to identify the Apollo landing site and Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry, on Astrobotics Peregrine Mission 1, currently scheduled to land on the moon in late 2022. There is a planet likely made of diamonds. An exoplanet 55 Cancri E, located 40 light years away from us, might be covered in diamonds. Sounds nice, but you wouldn't want to visit it anyway, unless you like to sunbathe at 2400 degrees Celsius 4400 degrees Fahrenheit and breathe hydrocyanic acid. As scientists assumed, 55 Cancri E is bound to a star with a high carbon-to-oxygen ratio, which led to the formation of a carbon-rich planet, and diamond is a solid form of carbon. The research team suggests that at least a third of the planet's mass, about three Earth masses, could be diamond. Further studies are needed to support the theory. If it proves to be true, it would mean 55 Cancri E hosts diamonds worth about $26.90 nonillion. Saturn has a hexagonal shaped storm. Saturn's North Pole hosts a multi layer storm with an unusual hexagon shape. It was first discovered in 1981 by the NASA Voyager spacecraft. Later, in 2006, the Cassini spacecraft provided more detailed images and data. It revealed that the storm is about 190 miles tall, 18,000 miles wide, and is possibly composed of atmospheric gases moving at about 320 km per hour, 200 miles per hour. The hexagon sides are about 9,000 miles long, 1,200 miles longer than the Earth's diameter. It also changes color over Saturnian seasons, it is golden in summer and blue in winter. There is a huge cloud of floating water in space. We know the Earth may not be the only space object with water. For example, Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, is thought to have an ocean that may contain twice the volume of water found on our planet. However, the largest reservoir of water in space is floating around a quasar, a luminous supermassive black hole, 
12 billion light years away from us. It is a cloud of water vapor that covers hundreds of light years and contains 140 trillion times more water than the world's oceans. LEGO figures were sent to orbit Jupiter. To get kids interested in science and space exploration, LEGO made three mini figures that were placed on the Juno space probe sent by NASA to explore Jupiter. The LEGO crew includes Galileo Galilei, who discovered the four biggest Jovian moons, the god Jupiter himself, and his wife Juno after which the mission was named. The mini figures have no moving parts, they were cast of spacecraft-grade aluminum designed to withstand the harsh conditions of spaceflight. By the way, they are still orbiting the planet, the Juno mission was extended to September 2025. Neptune has only completed one orbit around the Sun since its discovery. Neptune is the outermost major planet that was discovered in 1846. It was the first planet to be found with the use of mathematics, astronomers noticed that Uranus deviated from the predicted orbit, which allowed them to assume the existence of another planet and then find it. Neptune is so far that it can only be observed with optics. As it's farthest from the Sun, it also has the longest orbital period, a year on Neptune lasts 164.8 Earth years. That's why it only completed one post-discovery circle in 2011. Spacecraft have visited every solar system planet. Humanity has been exploring space for more than 60 years. That's not so long, in terms of the universe. Over this period, our spacecraft have visited all of our solar system's planets, including the dwarf planets. Our probes have landed on Mars and Venus and orbited Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn, and Ceres. NASA's Voyager 2 flew by Uranus and Neptune, and the New Horizons probe approached Pluto. Besides important scientific data, spacecraft provided us with many photos of other planets and their moons. There are more trees on the Earth than stars in the Milky Way. You must have heard that there are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on the Earth. We know that the cosmos is large, so it doesn't sound surprising. But it's hard for us to believe that space can be inferior to the Earth in some way. Strange as it may seem, it is true, at least if we take not the entire universe, but only our Milky Way galaxy. At a rough estimate, the advantage is obvious, there are from 100 to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way and more than 3 trillion trees on our planet.